originally they, they'd seen a few of the bits we'd done and they, they knew Andy. Um, they contacted us saying um, it was a bit of a weird one for us because like there wasn't really like a, there are different ways of working with clients. Sometimes they have the ideation, they have a brief and you just have to follow it. Kind of Mikey approached us um, or Andy late at night and was like, um, they knew Jaden was going to get the call up to the England team. They'd obviously got the intel from the Jaden Sancho call up. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, we want to do something for Jaden. We don't know what it is yet. Can you guys think of something to do? And we thought, well, we can go to St George's Park. We'll just make a nice little interview because of Nike London. And um, we're like, let's make a nice little interview on him. We make one for his personal page where he can talk about kind of his, the, the stuff that his fans want to see. And we can make one that's more brand based, which can go on Nike's page where he talks about his favorite boots. Um, his favourite uh, where whereabouts in London he was he was growing up, yeah. um, and they really liked. It. We thought we're going to make. Oh, we, we did some. We kind of did some research on Nike, um, Nike London. Saw how their interviews were. Saw how their kind of visuals looked. We we kind of jazzed it up with animations, um, and that kind of that started about mid October. We had about a week and a half to get it done, maybe like a week, mm. um, and then it was it was wrapped, bro. And, and it literally got rid. It got signed off on the night of his uh, the night of his debut. Which was mad. That was the moment. It kind of it felt like it, everything was kind of worth it. If that makes yeah. sense, I would probably say we were going three months at that point, uh, yeah. which was crazy. Like when, which I still can't like get my head around that mm. doing Nike work three months in. Like when when we, we spoke to people that have kind of worked seven eight years and that they've never got close to the Nike, yeah. just because Nike is a brand that puts you above almost. Well, it is probably apart from really you get Coke, Apple. It's the biggest brand in the world. And it's one that everyone wants to work with just because of their creative vision. Like, just to say you've worked on creative for Nike is, is insane. The fact that they, that happened three months in is is a madness. And still, some of the meetings we go into now, like, the first thing they call us up on always is the fact that you work with Nike. Like, it, it sits it sits yeah. out like a sore thumb. You can have the best clients in the world there, but the fact you've got them on there is stand above anyone. At the moment, we've been in meetings at Sony and at Warner Music Group. And both of those mad. will turn around and tell you, and they'll tell you, like, the fact that, and to be honest, do you know the reason that we got in there was Nike? That they yeah. tell you straight up. They're like, the reason you're sitting here is because you've worked with Nike. Yeah. And we don't work with a lot of people, but if you've worked with Nike, we trust you. 